It's been shown that providing educational programming while people are incarcerated does lead to positive outcomes post-release, but it's sometimes been unclear as to what the mediating factors are in this correlation. Some recent research shows that general self-efficacy and computer literacy are really key to these positive post-release outcomes. And so what our paper shows is how to design an online program to really foster these two key things. Roughly one in 100 people in the United States are incarcerated. The US has one of the highest incarceration rates in the world. And a key reason behind this is the recidivism rates, which is the rate at which formerly incarcerated people are rearrested after they're released from prison. One of the key ways of preventing recidivism is by providing educational programming while people are incarcerated. Brave Behind Bars is a introductory computer science program for incarcerated people that's really designed to foster students' self-efficacy. Our program is essentially a web programming class where students get to learn how to design and build their own websites. We concentrate on teaching foundational skills in things like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then the class revolves around a capstone project where students pick a social issue that they care about themselves, and then they'll craft a website around that issue. The site that I made was about reintegrating into society after incarceration. I just felt it was something that people don't really think about. They don't realize how hard it is for us to get back out there. Another thing we try to do is to really customize the class for individual students' needs and interests. And since our program is online, this lets us assign around three students to a single teaching assistant in one breakout room. This program comes in very aware, very sensitive to the needs of everyone involved. The needs of the students, the needs of the staff on the ground floor who are supporting the students, the needs of security, the needs of administration. We currently operate in five correctional facilities and we're accredited by three universities. Going ahead, we want to really expand the availability of our program across facilities in the United States and continue to accredit that program with regional universities. At first, I was really stressed out, I'm not gonna lie. I thought about dropping it a few times, but I was pushed to stay in it, and I did. And I achieved some, achieved some goals, and I nailed it. Ultimately, we really hope that our program serves as a stepping stone for opportunities, not just in higher education, but also in employment. <laughs>